So talking about the engine, this is 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine. This is true and tested engine from the Chrysler brand, which puts out 287 horsepower, 262 pound feet of torque. That is going to be ample power when you are merging on those highway with everything loaded in this car. <laughs> By everything, I mean your cargo and family. Fuel economy, which is 8.4 liter on highway, 12.4 liter in the city fuel tank is 61 liter or 19 gallon that's pretty much about the basic for this car also this car is available into touring which is base model touring l which one we are doing i think this is the best bank for your bugs if you're looking for little more there is touring l and then you have a limited and the top of the line pinnacle which is just over fifty four thousand dollar in canada so starting here at the headlight assembly this is all LED headlight assembly and the fog light also is LED look at this beautiful finished chrome to cover the LED light system and when you come here all your sonars for your adaptive cruise control are located here and if you go up the trim you get one more camera there is a slot for camera right here and looking at the grill this is gloss black material with this chrome finished all around gives it a really nice and shiny look on the road that's pretty much about the front profile and then starting here on the side you got 17 inch aluminum alloy wheel these are machine finished aluminum alloy wheel look at this reflector cleverly located reflector here and look at the window all the windows are wrapped into a nice chrome material gives it a nice and shiny look our mirror have LED turn indicator these are heated power operated as well as your blind spot monitoring is located into your mirror that's amazing for the price which you get which we'll discuss in detail and your door handle and body color as well plus you get this beautiful chrome finished on your door handle when you go up top here these are also stow and go roof rail so you can store your stuff on top and go moving down here you got blacked out window so you can see those pillars are also blacked out to give it a nice and shiny look on the side look at this lining which goes all the way from this rear end up to the passenger side door gives it really good look from the side angle as well and then when we move into the back you got your tail light which is LED as well and these are sports inspired tail light so during the night this whole area will illuminate gives it a sportier look from the back so you got your backup camera hey, it's right here and then this is integrated brake, brake light into a rear spoiler you get sharp fin antenna on the top and when you come down you got your Chrysler logo here plus your Pacifica badging and if this is equipped with the all-wheel drive you can see your all-wheel drive badging here as well and beautiful shiny chrome material here too plus you see all these small dots those are your backup sensor so if you're backing up and if someone comes here the car will brake automatically which is a nice safety feature on this vehicle so that's pretty much about our so these cargo vans are best known for their practicality and the cargo space so we'll just discover and this is the best in all that segment so let me show you how to open the trunk so uh, let me show you the key first so lock unlock your trunk release button your remote start and you can also operate the door from these two buttons so to open the trunk just press this button twice and you are greeted with a deep storage area down here so this is basically for your stow and go facility so i'll show you how to store those seats this is quite easy the headrest will go down you can push this one if you want and then just pull this one and it's numbered one that's it for first one for second one it's the same so pull the strap push the seat down look at the this is like so flat let me show you if you are camping you can easily sit down here i'll show you one more demo come down 
see we are so happy in this space this will be really wow. best for tailgating or camping before we go to second row let's look at this easy fuel cap the capacity is 19 gallon 8.4 on the highway and 12.4 in the city that's the fuel mileage so to open this door you can just press this button twice the door will open this is crazy in terms of feature this is just crazy and practicality of that stow and go i'll show you so once the door is open look for this button when you press this button for stow and go you you have to press this button basically so this driver seat goes to his maximum limit in the front and then pull the carpet and look at this area beautiful and you can see this stow and go strap just just by the passenger door right there so pull that strap and this will go down easily even a kid can do this and after that push this down look at this flat floor wow this is like a big truck now so for this side you have to pull this seat forward completely once you pull this seat just make sure the handrails are up again pull the carpet and look at this cargo space straps one two and three wow now we will undo everything so undoing is also easy just look for the strap like you can call it a strap or knob and then the stow and go just pull this you might need a little bit power here but that is doable see how easy is that for the family who are looking for more space and great efficiency in terms of cargo area I think this is the best and that's it so looking at this door panel you got soft material all on the top and then as you go down it's all plastic material but this beautiful stitching blue in color gives it really calming look you got all your window controls here your lock unlock your mirror controls also you got two memory seats for two drivers so if mom is driving kids to soccer practice that can take kids to school so they can use the two memory seats and in here you got your light controls for your dash and auto on and off for lights and then when you come here you got your power seats also a four-way adjustable lumbar that is great for comfort so starting here on the top you got all your light controls and these are led lights as well as you got your controls for your door so you can open either of the door just by sitting here you got one sunglass holder and this old-fashioned mirror here so you can look in the back while driving basically not look in the back but you can have a control in the back just by looking at the mirror so you got automated dimming mirror here and then moving down you got 10.1 inches touch screen this is standard across which comes with u connect 5 which is their latest system also equipped with android auto and apple carplay so let since we are here let me show you the backup camera for this car so once it's in reverse you can see this is little grainy but it goes all like it takes all the screen so it's beautiful looking also you got your guiding lines so that's good you can park this in a tight parking spots let me put it in parking again and the screen is really nice even though sun is shining on this one i can still see pretty easily the only thing i can say like there are so many fingerprints on this one and you don't have to use this all the time because when you move down you got all your buttons i really love this button because nowadays everybody is going to a touch screen and having button is really important where you can feel that volume is increasing or volume is decreasing the touch of a button is very important then you got your auto on and off your parking sensors here traction control 
your screen off so if you press this the screen is off to turn on touch the screen this is really convenient and your HVAC system is right here your electronic parking brake if you press that that's good and then you got your quite a few USB controls here look at this tray this is quite deep storage area two bottle holder and a space for your cell phone or whatever you want to store and you can keep a change here so that way it won't slide that's pretty much about this center console area and then moving to the steering this is leather wrap heated steering wheel as well as your front two seats are heated in the stream and then you get analog tachometer analog speedometer and that beautiful screen in the middle where you can explore all the information this vehicle has to offer see this is giving me a 9.8 for an average on the left right hand side of the steering you got all your cruise control setting and on the left hand side you have your volume controls your cell phone hang and your voice command this is and you also have manual tilt and telescoping so the movement for this one is pretty good like, let me shut this off and that's pretty much about this beautiful comfortable front seat so looking at this spacious thing this is the one i wanted to show you just with just the press of button you can get this tray for storage and again there is a lot of storage here you got power outlet here as well oh they are so tight haven't been used but power outlet and this is the floating area i was talking about look at this one this is so deep like you can store and store and store in this car and you will not run out of the storage space let's and also in the sun visor you get integrated garage opener let's do our sun visor test you got light mirror see here these are just the basic light here you can see and this has an extension as well so that's pretty good let's look at it again looking handsome adi <laughs> always so now that we have seen the comfort for the front row it's now time for the second row so getting into the second row with just the press of the button the door will open and once the door is open you can come here get this handrest down and enjoy the ride the noticeable thing here is you got your own ac vent here also you got usb ports for keeping your device charged also you got hooks so if you are carrying any grocery you can hook it up here and any chocolate candy you can just put there for kids and let them enjoy the back seat also on the i'll show you here you got climate control setting for the second row passenger so they can control their own climate from this port here so this has a tri climate zone control if you're sitting in here and you want to close the door with just the press of a button while i take a nap <laughs> it's not that long the door will close so you got your lock for the door plus your window control window control is right here and the most important thing in any family vehicle is the shades you need the shades when you are traveling with kids mark my words it's really important so if you're looking for a car and you have kids the shades are very important and this car has everything into it this is pretty comfortable look at this leg space enough of leg space at least like 8 inches headroom plenty of headroom wish i don't know if this can recline yes this reclines as well so this is going to be the best place for any road trip so i'm going to enjoy this second row you guys get ready to have a look at that third row so we are here to do the testing for our third row and they are really excited so i'll show you how to go into the third row look show them how to go into the third row this is really easy so it's just the press of button kids can and look at the height it's not too much for them to climb even if it's like the floor is really well with this to and go thing as well so show them the third row go sit down there
So you saw getting into the third row was so easy. Let's let me sit here. And even for me, oops, even for me, the third row seat is quite comfortable. I got plenty of headroom. You saw me sitting into that second row seat and the third row, like look at him, he is really comfortable. You got cup holders here in the back, plus you got your own AC vent, you got your own light here, which is LED as well. And the best part which I was talking is shades which I must have and I am so impressed that Pacifica has given this shades into the third row. They are really happy because they love the shades and we don't have those in our car. So that's really, really awesome. This would be really good for long trips as well. With the kids in the third row, you can enjoy the journey. So she will show you how easy it is to close in this van as well. See, you can either press the knob which is on the door or you can press the button which is just on this B, pan, B pillar located here. So let's take this on the tour now and I'll show you some creature feature and comfortability of this driver. So one thing which I just saw is as soon as you put this into a parking, it will show you that, look at this one, the parking sense rear brake assistant is on. That is going to be really good feature because of the size of this van even though there is a backup camera if something comes in your way right away the vehicle will break and will save you from that accident so right off the bat i can say that 3.6 v 3.6 liter v6 it's a little confusing has plenty of power has got some great acceleration <laughs> this is this is really good in terms of acceleration Suspension is tuned for the softer ride. This is not firm. So when you're going on the bump, I'm not feeling so much of that bump coming into the car. Visibility wise, this is also good. The A pillar is not that wide. Also, you got the smaller window here. So you can have like, it gives you a sense of more visibility on the road. Headroom is pretty good for driver side as well. And the, when I'm sitting in this, I get really commanding view of the road and pickup is really nice. V6 is perfect. We'll check our turning radius here on our favorite spot. Let's do a quick turning radius here. So I'm at the full stop. I'm going to go. Wow. For the size of this one, the turning radius is so good. This is so cool, man. And the driving experience is really good. I don't feel with this and the steering is also really smooth. I don't feel like I'm driving a big van. This is really, really nice. And that's pretty much for about our tour today for the driving. So for concluding our tour today, you have seen how practical is this van with this tow and go. How practical is this? for carrying your family and if you have a growing family which needs more seating capacity more cargo area this is going to be perfect for your family this starts at 41,000 but if you go to dealer on the dealer lot you can definitely get more discount on this one and with that one this is going to be really good for bang for your bucks so that's pretty much about my thought about this car I am really in love with this for its practicality and all the feature and creature comfort this has to offer so if you like the video please make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber please subscribe to our channel because this does help me and motivate me to make more and more videos like this and also hashtag drive with dd so you can be enrolled in our giveaway when we hit that 500 subscriber details are in the description below that's it for our tour today thank you so much your dd signing off